Jesus, little Bobby. Scoop and snoot, James. Scoop the snoot. Boop. Look at that shiny little snoot. Rabbies, and we're sitting in this lovely little cafe. They have tartan pillows. Big fan, big fan. So I'm excited. It's going to be um, a little bit of driving, but apparently it's a lot of storytelling on the way up. And I've got my knitting and James has his book. So I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> this cafe is lovely. It's just on uh, the top end of Princess Street. Uh, so yeah, we're going to on a full day tour from 8 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock in the evening and the tour costs 50 pounds, 52 pounds, something like that. Um, I think, actually I think it was only 45 pounds because it was 90 pounds for both of us so that's not bad. It doesn't include lunch, it doesn't include food and it doesn't include a trip on the boat in Loch Ness but we'll buy that extra. To be honest you're paying for the bus, you're paying for the driver, driver's expertise and the driver's stories. And um, this, this uh, company has a really, really, really good reputation. A friend of mine actually um, works with them, so kind of that's why I went. But also, they have a really good reputation. funniest thing just happened. We stopped off in Calendar, which is kind of like a little um, a town on the way to the highlands. Um, it's quite often that buses stop here for foods and stuff, there's loads of cafes. I was walking down the street and I got and they said, excuse me, and I was like, oh Jesus, what have I done? Turned around and she goes, I recognize that jumper. I was like, oh, um, do you? She's like, you're on the internet, you're famous. So I just wanted to say hi, Susan. She works in the office in the tourist center. She's here for the Yarn Festival. I was like, yeah. I, that was my first recognition in the middle of the... I mean, it's kind of tourist central here, but it's quite cute. We're, we're having some pies. James. James. We could have a pet, a person if we wanted to. Yeah, they're all over the place. Different uh, colors. Uh, blackface, Cheviot, Hebridean sheep. Blackface and the, and the Chevy are just kind of white coats, different coloured uh, faces, black face, speak for itself, Chevy, it's white faces, Hebridean's all in black, so if you see any black sheep, it's uh, like literally the black sheep family, odd one out.
we've just arrived in Glencoe, which has a very bloody history. Of course, it's all Dinesh's fault, as usual. <laughs> oh, I just walked up all these steps. I walked up really fast, and I forgot I'm super unfit. But there we go. We have got off the bus um, and James has gone home because he's super tired. He's too tall for small buses. And I am going to, I'm heading to, I'm just outside Akfa now. It is Tuesday night, so it's not an official, unofficial knit night. <laughs> but I'm meeting my friend Corolla and Ellie Skandier, so other whirly yarns and Skandier. I've got my Skandier mitts to show her. And uh, yeah. I need a pint, lads. It was a long day, but it was lovely. But long. <laughs> Is that fair? Hello, <laughs> They've been here for like hours. So I'm inside Akfa, we're knitting, everything's lovely. It's a nice way to wind down after a super long day of being in a bus. So I'll show you who I'm with now. So the music's changed. <laughs> Pub quiz going on. Sorry about the noise. Don't they know I'm filming? Food. But yeah, so we're gonna just kind of, I'm, I'm probably gonna stay here for another while and then I'll head home to sleep because I'm gonna climb a mountain tomorrow. I'm coming up Arthur's seat and you're coming with me. So see you later. And oh yeah, May's coming with us. So that's gonna be great. Yay. Another recruit. <laughs> see you tomorrow.